play one lick at a time is is simply because the human mind gets confused and if you're having you know if you're trying to learn something learn it one part at a time instead of trying to do it all at once if you try to do it all at once it gets confusing if you do it one part at a time it's much easier and then the parts just fit together once you have each part down oh man you should charge money for that shit this thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to open g and we're going to slide from the 10th to the 12th and then we go So it's so it's one high second high second high second high second third. Take your slide and don't you you don't come on flat. You come on at a forty five degree angle. So it's. You're not, so you don't, you know, you just want to play the string that you're playing. Again, so it's. And then on the third string, you play the third string open, come down to the third string, third fret, and then the fifth string, uh, the high string, fifth fret. So it's. Yes. The then you go from the fifth to the third. Fifth, third, and you can either pull off a pluck, and then the same thing again. So. Offbeat. So, and it's just playing the sixth, fifth string. And instead of going, you can also go slide up. And then, then the next part is with the slider. You're going to play the first four strings. And then you come up here. And then to the seventh. And that's an arpeggio. Up here. So I'll just show well, you this, and then we'll go. We'll take the slider off, but just I just want to show you this because I would love it if you practice it. So here's the whole thing. And the, 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 the basis of the whole thing is the third string, third fret, and then the high string, fifth fret. And there's many different little things you can do. You go, or, but it always comes back to, and you can play on the third fret.
that you you <coughs> you take the third and you slide down. All right, enough Playing with the slide. slide. You play directly over the fret. When you play with your finger, you play directly below it with the slide directly over it. The slide should always be gentle. You're not, you don't want to bang, you don't want to press hard. You don't have to. Sliding within the fret. Nice. So you stay within the fret and gently slide. When you, when you play all of the notes, you again, now you're putting the slide down horizontally, but also not pressing hard. And that's the whole thing. Now you can play slide guitar just like, you know, Mississippi John Foyts. Mississippi Messiah. We took off the slide, so now, so watch. So now I'm, I'm, I'm going So I'm, 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 I'm using my index finger on the third string, third fret. So I, I pluck and pull off and then pluck the fifth string. And then the high string, fifth fret, uh, first fret. I mean, first string, fifth fret, watch. thing that we did with the slide I'm just playing on the third fret and I'm da 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 open. So you're ha you're pu you're plucking and pulling off on the third, then on the fourth, then on the fifth, open. A little strumming like this. Make it harder. Here's another. Da 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 da. And it's rolling an attempt. Won't you roll, roll and tumbling? Cry the whole night long. Yes, I'm rolling up tumbling. Did not know right from wrong. And it's normally played with the slide quickly. You got that? I'm ready to perform. You got it? It's... <laughs> I'm just playing on the third, fourth, and fifth string.
open G. The second, third, and fourth strings are the same as on the standard tuning. So if you play a C chord, you use the regular C shape, but you don't put down the index, the ring finger, and now that's the C chord, which is the four. So open, open, and then the four is, and then just move the middle finger down one, and that's the five, and then open. So that's a key note when playing an open G is this one. I bet it's a C. What, what, what is it? what? It's a high uh, second strings a uh, high first fret. It's the it's the C note. It's the it's the. That's a C note. Covering the first two strings with my index finger, plucking, let me just do it, I'm, I'm recording it. Uh, pluck the second, then pluck the high. And then back here. is we're going over a lot of open G, but the, the, the secret is, is that the, the notes and patterns are basically the same, and you just have to figure out how to fit them in. So here's another one. So this note, important. This note is a G, important. C, B. And then, um, well, and then, and then I took my middle finger and I slide up on the fifth fret to the on the fifth string to the fourth fret. Then, now watch this. And now what I'm doing is I'm playing on the third, the fourth string, and I, I make the C shape. And then you take the same shape and you, you bring it up to the fourth and third fret really quickly. Follow me, baby, I'll turn your money green. If you follow me, baby, I'll turn your money green. You'll have more money Rockefeller ever seen. So let's let me just do one quick thing. What I want what what we're doing here is we're playing the same notes over and over. So let's just learn the notes. my coherence but the the whole yeah. idea well the whole idea I is really that like well, uh, I wish
wish I knew how to play guitar. Now, for the, the, for the finger picking, I'm picking the fifth and the fourth. Finger picking fits with it, and we also have this. Uh, we don't have it. You get your strumming, and then you just hammer on the C chord. 